It's time. Good morning, Arizona's popping into primetime, celebrating the best of the Valley picked by you. I'm breaking this news to you. Yeah, man. You are the best Diamondbacks player, according to Phoenix Magazine Ooh. readers. The best athletes, tastiest tacos, pastor taco. trustworthy mechanics. Won't have that worry, uh, you know, getting ripped off. Places to work out. We're unleashing it all. Good boy. See what pops up and who pops by. Let's get things popping. <laughs> Good morning, Arizona, taking over your evening for a Good Morning Arizona primetime special. I'm Scott Passmore. And I'm Olivia Fierro. You know, we're used to those early morning hours, but we're up way past our bedtime to show you some of the best things to see, do, eat, and shop all around our valley. Yeah, we've teamed up with Phoenix Magazine to showcase the best of the valley, and we got a lot in store for you. So April's showing us the best place to jog along the canal. And my dog, Crazy Cash, is getting us through the paces with the best dog, Whisperer. All right, plus, we're giving you some peeks at our favorite things to do and plus see. But first, Yetta sits down with Arizona Diamondbacks David Peralta's Phoenix Magazine's reader pick for best D-backs player. He's telling us about his very first job, flipping burgers, and how he got his beloved nickname, Freight Train. Give us some real thing. Oh, yeah, we got to do it. A lot went on during my chat with David Peralta. Right. Yeah, you got me by surprise right now. Start sweating right I'm now. This sorry. is for real. Yeah, just one. Yeah, that's what you got. Yeah. Baby shark, do, 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 baby shark. How we ended up singing that smash hit and everything else. Long story. We'll get to it in a minute. But first, why we sat down with David in the first place. This beloved Diamondbacks outfielder was named Best Diamondbacks Player by Phoenix Magazine. The readers voted you Best Diamondbacks Player. How does that feel? Ooh, I didn't know that. You didn't know? No. I'm breaking this news to you? Yeah. He didn't even know about the honor, and I was happy to break the news. You got me by surprise right now, but I'm really excited that... I know you guys shows me for that. <laughs> and I'm happy that that I'm having like a impact in this community and the, and the all the D-backs fans and not just the D-backs fans outside the baseball and everything. David, as you know, is also known as Freight Train. And here goes the Freight Train. He'll stop at second with a two out double. Speaking of Freight Train and, the, and what is it? Is it it's just oh, one, just, yeah, just that's one? what you got, is, yeah. This is it? Yeah, this what is it. Where does that name even come from? Steve Perfume, he, he started naming me like, hey, the freight train, because he always say like, hey, he's sits too, big guy, oh. and he can run the base like a freight train. Peralta is celebrating his 32nd birthday this month. His birthday present a year ago was his daughter, Sophia, with an F, born on the very same day as his. We got kind of the same attitude, which is funny. Like I can see myself from her like, oh. oh boy, a little bit bossy and like it's, She's already bossy at one? Yeah, all oh, the time. Get ready. I it's know. It's only going to get worse. I know. That's <laughs> what people you say. Have Thank girls. you for that. Thank I'm you. sorry. I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> now, you're such a big fan in the community. When you get home, is your wife like, whatever, you're no big deal. Go clean the poopy diaper. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hey, That's exactly you got that right. You got that. Do you know my wife? I like, didn't know. I don't. You I just spoke with her before you come here. <laughs> no wonder the Valley loves this guy. He puts his heart and soul into the game and everything else he does, even when he was working at Mickey D's back in the day. Yeah, but no, I wasn't that good <laughs> because I was really nervous. I was really nervous and the people keep asking me for stuff and I didn't know how to use the computer because it's too many things. I'm proud about it Yeah. because it's a job. Yeah. And that was my real first job. And about this... One, two, three. Baby shark. Baby shark. I know. That's <laughs> good. Well, his daughter, just like my two girls, love that song, so we couldn't help ourselves. David says he and his singing skills will be here in Arizona for the long haul, if he can help it. Every time when I step at the home play and I hear all these people are cheering for me, I'm talking about the freight train and all this <laughs> kind of stuff, and that, 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 that get me really excited. I really love Arizona, I really love the fans, and, and that's a special moment every day when yeah. I step at the home play That's for me. very cool to hear because they're loving you right back. <laughs> that's good. Peralta isn't the only fan favorite in town either. Readers picked one player on each pro team as the cream of the crop. Diana Tarazi from the Phoenix Mercury, Devin Booker for the Phoenix Suns, Oliver Ekman Larson from the Arizona Coyotes, and longtime favorite Larry Fitzgerald of the Arizona Cardinals. 
This is no ordinary gym, and this isn't your average workout. Fit Body Boot Camp in Glendale, voted best of the valley. But what makes this place so special? Come on in, make some room. When fourth grade teacher Holly McAvoy first walked through the door, right, how are we feeling? She battled anxiety and depression. If I preach getting your life to these kids I teach who are in poverty and some serious situations, and and uh, you know you have to work for what you want, and you can do anything that you set your mind to. Let's hear the that's basically what I decided to do in my 40s was get my life. Over the course of a year, each workout not only strengthened her body, but also strengthened her spirit. I've never found anything that heals you more than a group of people who encourage you, um, have faith in you. Today, McAvoy is 40 pounds lighter. She's lost nine inches off her waist and has melted away 15% body fat. We are first and foremost here to change lives. Kelly Sullins owns Fit Body Boot Camp. Let's go, ladies. It's like personal training in a group setting where you've got all these people who know your name and you have the best time ever. It takes your mind off of the fact that you're working out. Yeah. The 30 minute class led by a coach changes daily. We combine both strength and cardio exercises to help build and then lower the heart rate to be able to get maximum fat burning effects. Movements are designed for both men and women, all shapes, all sizes, all abilities. Mountain climbers, we've got pull-ups today. We do a lot with our BOSU balls. We do a lot with our battle ropes, so waves, things like that. A lot of free weights as well, so bicep curls, overhead presses. With high energy music and a sense of camaraderie, those who come to Fit Body Boot Camp say, it's easy to want to be here. Meanwhile, McAvoy is working on new goals, decreasing body fat and encouraging others to join. You just do it. Step out of your comfort zone. It's really where growth happens. Um, it's really where, you know, you find just the best things in life and just that you can do things that you don't know you can do when you have a community of people supporting you. One, two, three. On average, a member is expected to burn about three to 500 calories before this 30-minute class is over. And with 275 people who currently belong to this gym, Kelly hopes to open another one in January. If you want to get a good workout in, take a hike. The reader's pick goes to Camelback Mountain. We may be proud desert dwellers, but sometimes you just need a little water. For your early morning or late evening jog, hit the canal. Phoenix Magazine readers voted this stretch of canal the best in town. It's fairly flat, so easy on your knees and beautiful. The jog you'll take past some of the prettiest real estate in town. Start at Granada Park and head south, and you'll trek past the manicured lawns of the Arizona Biltmore and Wrigley Mansion. Plus, catch a view of the downtown skyline. It's just a very pretty, part of the city and uh, it's good for walking, good for biking and uh, running. Um, so it gets quite a, quite a bit of traffic in the morning. A lot of trees, a lot of flowers. Um, they have a rule in the housing areas around the Biltmore that there's no cactus. So it's all flowers, trees, palms. So it feels almost tropical around here. All the old growth trees and all the foliage that's around here and it just has a very peaceful vibe right through here that's different than a lot of other parts of the canal. Get out early to beat the heat and as an added bonus you get to catch one of our signature Arizona sunrises behind Camelback Mountain. The canal run is a great way to work out alone, but there are plenty of group fitness events all around the valley. And Phoenix Magazine readers chose one very special race as the best. Pat's Run was picked as the top running and fitness event. The 4.2 mile run ending at Sundell Stadium honors the legacy of former Arizona Cardinal and Army hero Pat Tillman. Arizona's family teamed up with the Tillman Foundation for the 15th annual Pat's Run. Yeah, the Tillman Foundation helps raise money for scholarships given to veterans and their spouses in memory of Tillman's love for education and his country. And how exciting is this? This year, 33,000 people came out to run and $1.1 million was raised, making it one of the most successful in the organization's history. So if you want to take part next year, mark your calendars for January 7th. That's when registration opens for the race, happening on April 18th. 
All right, guys, the best of the valley, and we're talking about the best dog whisperer because we need some help with Cash. He's not too horrible right now, but you guys have followed us. You know that he can get crazy. Oh, he was the cutest puppy, but Cash was also crazy, digging in the dirt, chewing on anything and everything, jumping onto tables, eating towels, eating socks, getting his nose stuck on a cup. His favorite, counter surfing. Cash, Cash, get down, get down. Hey, get down, Cash, off. Cash is a year and a half old now, and with some training, he's so much better, but he still pulls on a leash and jumps on people. All dogs, you know, they have a level of desire. Some dogs really, really want things, mm -hmm. and there's no consequence for doing them. You need to give consequences. That's what trainer Rob Hepley says. Every dog is trainable. Just some take more work than others. Rob helped thousands of dogs over the years, saving many Valley pet owners from frustration and also saving dogs like Pac-Man. He was too much dog for his owner. He was very aggressive, um, bit a few kids and just was about to get put down. And thankfully the guy found me and just basically gave him to me. All so, right. So now he lives a good life and he's had a lot of work. I'm giving you cash, <laughs> at least just for a little while. We're gonna work uh -huh. on him throughout the show here. Uh, just with the simple things like tugging and pulling and whining when he sees other dog in that excitement. You mm -hmm. think you can You think you think can make him as good as Pac-Man? Um, pulling, jumping and stuff like that is very, very easy to solve. Anybody can do it. Um, just some dogs need a tough mom and... <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, this is going to be fun. I'm going to be following you, and we'll check in with you guys a little later on in the show. And the reader's choice for best dog park goes to Cosmo Dog Park in Gilbert. Before we go to break, let's take a quick look at a couple other reader's picks. The best parade goes to Phoenix Pride. And if you want to support local, check out the Uptown Farmer's Market in Central Phoenix.